Heyo everybody, Haku here with a sort of, I'm going to call it a read-through and discussion for One Piece manga chapter 960. So what happened yesterday is when I recorded the, um, the Boku no Hero Academia live reaction, as I always do, I recorded this before that. Uh, but then when I went to edit the two of them so that I could post them, the footage for this reaction was all screwed up and corrupted. <clears throat> so I was thinking, ah, crap, that probably happened with Boku no Hero Academia too. Uh, but no, the Hero Academia recording was fine. Uh, it's just with this one, it, w it was like a 16-minute reaction video. And if like 12 to 14 minutes of it were salvageable, I would have tried to salvage it. But only like 3 or 4 minutes were good, and then it was just all just destroyed and corrupted beyond that. Um, so I was like... What I'll do now, because I don't want to, like, just say, guess what, no One Piece video this week. Because uh, I feel like I already don't get to talk about One Piece enough lately. Uh, I'm going to go through and not just read it again, but also discuss different things about it part by part. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for this. Also worth noting that usually when I put read through in the title of a video, it's basically synonymous with live reaction. Um... I just am using a different word to mean the same thing, but for this one, full disclosure, I have already read it when I recorded the reaction yesterday, um, but it was all corrupted and stuff, so I'm going back through to talk about it with you all today. Uh, going into it, I knew it was going to be, from the title and from the way we ended off last week, I knew that it was going to be an Odin Kozuki flashback chapter, and honestly... It, it's weird, because Odin is part of this huge incident that took place. He's part of, like, the biggest, most important pirate crew ever. And yet I, I don't really care all that much about Odin. It was like, I'm, I, don't, I don't really care that much that we're getting flashback of him. But then I read it, and I was like, oh, this is so much better. So much better than what I was, uh, what I was first thinking. Um... So yeah, I really, really liked it. Not because of Odin, but because of a lot of the other things. But either way, either way, let's get into uh, reading back through uh, so that I can talk about this. So we start off with this cover page here with the Gang Beiges All of My Family, Volume 10, A Grand Search, Where is Lola? We see them in Dress Rosa with the Kiros and Lushi and Garusop statues. And I love this beige scene from behind thinking it's Lola and Chiffon, but it's actually these two random other girls. And this one girl with, I think that's Chiffon's haircut? Or maybe it's Lola's. This one girl, low-key pretty cute. But, uh, let's move on into the actual thing. So, we start off. Not a single factory in sight. A great green forest spreads far and wide. Its vivid flora and verdant grasses are fed by clear rivers that flow out into the beautiful sea. This is, er, this is a tale of the country of Wano. Caught him when it still brimmed with life. I'm serious. We saw it. We saw a mountain move. A mountain? Yep, we're on the run from it right now. It was growling and stuff. Sounds like the god of the mountain. Mountain Pass Tea House, um, Poster Girl, Tsuru Joe. And Tsuru is a babe. Tsuru was like the cutest girl in all of One Piece back in her day. Like, damn, look at Tsuru. But you three look pretty happy. Foo foo foo, why's that? Huh? Yeah, I guess there's no hiding it from you, Tsuru, my dear. Let me tell you a little secret, Otsuru. Truth is, we caught it, the mystical animal, after searching for a whole year. Take a look at him. Wow, what a pretty little boar, he's so white. And it's adorable, I love the white boar. In the capital, this little guy will fetch one platinum coin easily. Wow, one platinum coin? That's enough to build a whole house. Suru is so cute. Like, Kinemon is a lucky man. Apparently, the Kotogoma boss wants to have the mystical white boar as a shopfront attraction, and this guy's got a bounty on his head, and no one's been able to find him. An attraction? That's wrong. White boars are the servants of the gods. Come on, it's because he's cute. This guy's just another rare animal. Oh dear, wait a minute. And of course, Sudo hears something and stops Kinemon. Taking money out of my wallet again, Kinemon? Ah, get off, Suru Joe. Is this how you treat your childhood friend? We have young Kinemon. My big bro's a little tight for money right now. Like I care, he's broke because he's gambling all the time. Do you have any, or do you have any idea how much debt I'm in? 
If you ever touch my wallet again, I'll sell your organs. If you can't pay me back in cash, leave everything on your person here and get lost. Thanks for the meal, Tsuru. Payment's on the counter. And then later on, ah, you bastard, are you that guy from er you're that guy from before? And of course, Kinemon took all their stuff. Wahaha, thug from the capital, Kinemon. You think I wasn't listening back there? Bragging your heads off. One platinum coin for a boar. Looks like it's my lucky day. I've hit the jackpot. Once I hand this little piggy over to the Kodagoma boss, I'll... Achoo. Uh, give me your clothes, you louts, and your wallets, too. Um, it appears Lord Odin is a terrible navigator. His attempt at, illeg er, at illegally leaving the country is his 38th. Honestly, I'm glad he made it back alive. S er, to quickly summarize his life, first, before he was even one year old, he threw his wet nurse across the room. At the age of two, he was fast enough to capture two rabbits at once. At the age of four, he defeated a bear by hurling a boulder at it. At six, he began to frequent the Red Lake District and drain the ca er, castle's coffers. Wano Country Shogun, Tsukiyaki Kozuki, Odin's father. Okay, I actually really like Tsukiyaki. Now, um, Odin looks kind of lame. Like, here's the thing. I know people are going to hate that I really don't like Odin. I don't really like Odin's story that much. This whole backstory just feels very sort of Gary Stu goofy nonsense, but with his basic design, Sukiyaki looks so much cooler than Odin does. And it's weird, Sukiyaki actually kind of somewhat looks like a cooler version of Orochi, so I'm like, why did why did Odin not switch these designs around to have a really cool looking villain with this design being um, Orochi? Or why not just have this design be Odin? because it's a lot cooler than Odin's design. But yeah, I actually really like Sukiyaki. At 8, he got into a huge brawl with gamblers while drunk. At 9, he was blacklisted by the Yakuza and forbidden from entering their gambling dens. In revenge, he set fire to those dens and started a war with the Yakuza, which got him arrested for assault and damage to public property at the age of 10. As a prisoner, he was sentenced to labor in the quarries, where his talents came to light. He was so good at cutting stone that he soon rose to the rank of quarry boss, such as the power of Kozuki blood. After returning to society, he had a change of heart. When he was 14, the capital was in a severe drought. When he heard how the people were suffering from dried up wells and canals, he took it upon himself to alter the course of a river toward the capital. Unfortunately, this caused horrific flooding and warrants for the poor lad's arrest were yet again issued. I love all of Tsukiyaki's reactions as well. However, Odin decided that he'd use or that he'd use his newly formed waterway to escape off the island. He failed. And so I was thinking his newly formed waterway, he may have been the one who made the uh the Moguro um port. At fifteen he threatened the chief priest of a mountain temple into allowing him to stay there. Every night he'd sneak into the capital and steal away women and make himself a harem. This is the kind of stuff evil spirits do, Sukiyaki. I'd like to add that the women were free to leave at any time. In any case, their lovers refused to stand for this tomfoolery. Parents, husbands, powerful samurai, many took up arms against Odin, and he gleefully fought back against all of them. These battles are now known as the Harem Wars. Even the Hyogoro clan, which got involved to put an end to them, got caught up in the fighting. The number of casualties that have resulted from actions by Lord Odin number... Enough. I've heard enough. Yes, at the moment, Lord Odin is 18 years old, and he continues to cause t er, to cause trouble with terrifying regularity. Hand this to Odin, without saying anything, and it's just a paper this is disowned. You're not getting away today. You went that way. Catch Kinemon. W wait a minute. I'm about to get super rich. We've heard enough of your lies. F your er, enough of your lies, you fraud. It, er, I'm serious this time. Just let me go to the Kodogoma clan's mansion. Kinemon, huh? That, er, the breath that stole our money, right? Capture him and skin him alive. But, don't fight him one-on-one. -on -one. He's stronger than any one of you. And, of course, we see Rogue of the Capital, Hyogoro of the Flowers. I love this, seeing young Hyogoro. Or younger, at least, Hyogoro. <laughs> you must be joking. We'll catch him soon enough. You brought the wrong pot. Well, this big one over here's 60 silver, kid. I see. Will you take back this 30 silver pot I bought earlier? Yes, of course. You've already got the 30 silver I paid when I first bought it, right? Add that to the er, to the price of this pot, and you've got 60. I'll take that big one for that price. You're right. Thanks for stopping by. 
And of course, now we see him. He steal or er, he pretty much um, fleeces this guy out of the big pot. He he he. Orphan from the capital, Denjiro. And of course, we can all tell who Denjiro looks like. He looks just like Zoro's master. Um, I know, of course, like, here's the thing. I don't really watch One Piece Theory videos, but I'm certain because of the way, like, years ago when I did know what was going on with Theory videos, there were just a bazillion Theory channels making everything a Theory, no matter how much or little evidence there was. So I'm sure plenty of people have guessed that Denjiro is Zoro's master, that Denjiro's a million different people, that Zoro's master is a million different people. Um... I'm sure that with all of those, a few people, whether they had reason to think that or not, uh, may have accidentally been right, but, um, yeah, so it's not like I'm saying anything new by saying, oh, he's obviously, uh, Zora's master, but, I mean, he looks, he has the glasses, he has that same hair, uh, but either way, oi oi, that kid just swindled that shopkeeper out of 30 silver, get a clue, old man. Oi, Denjiro. Hmm? Wait a second. Why do I only have 30 pieces of silver in cash? Flower Capital Crematorium. Mr. Samurai, please help us. Grandfather Katsuzo. There, there, don't cry. Uh, it's a funeral. She's gonna cry, mister. Anyway, what's the matter? After the cremation had finished, we went to go pick up my father's bones, but... Look, that guy started boiling and eating Odin with the very flames we used to cremate Dad. Eating Odin? Lord Odin... And of course, Odin. Odin, really, he looks a lot like Raizo. That's one thing I brought up, is that Sukiyaki looks a lot like Orochi, even though they're not really related that we know of. And um, Odin looks a lot like Raizo. But, uh, yeah, Lord Odin. We have no idea what you're saying. Just get away from Father. How dare you belittle my father's death like this? Son of the Urwano er, Country Shogun, Odin Kozuki. And, of course, he keeps eating and drinking, and then he leaves the alcohol with the body. That's it, then. Katsuzo, next time we share a drink, we'll be in the afterlife. And, my apologies, relatives. I'm so sorry, I should have told you who I am. And, uh, we have somebody who goes with him, and the one who goes with them, I'm thinking that this is Kanjiro. Just from the shape of his face, I think this is Kanjiro before he started painting his face and hair. In which case, Kanjiro used to look cool. What? So that's... er... So that's what was going on? What in the world? He's so cool. This is bad. Restrain your wives and daughters. So these are the famed charms of Odin. So, y'all here to arrest me? Yeah, you can bribe us, though. You're not supposed to ask for it, idiot. Seriously, though, what's going on? People are running, but not away from me. Doesn't look like there's a fire happening, but the fire bell's been ringing like mad. Oi, is the fire really that big? And he yells up to uh, one of the towers. It's big, all right, but it's not a fire. Have you never heard the story, Keen? You're not supposed to mess with that thing. What thing? This little white boar? Isn't that the boar that the Kuragoma boss wants to use to destroy the Hyogoto clan? What do you mean, Denjiro? Look, if this little boar goes missing, its father, the big daddy boar, comes barging in looking for it. According to ancient records, the father boar is as big as a mountain. It's the thing they call the god of the mountain. Hundreds of years ago, it destroyed an entire village. I thought it was just some old fairy tale, but I guess the little white boar exists, which means... And then we hear them yelling, it's the god of the mountain. The god of the mountain exists. We're going to be eaten alive. There's already been casualties. Get out of the capital. Run. And we see uh, a glimpse of it. Crap, it showed up. You've got to be kidding me. Am I going to be the reason the capital is? That's a rather interesting tale, boy. I don't know who you two are, but... Uh, Odin Kozuki, give me that boar. What? The unprecedented begins. So, I actually really like this. I went into it thinking maybe I wouldn't as much. Um, I'm still not that into Odin. His character is kind of like he doesn't look cool. His backstory isn't really that cool. I'm just not really into Odin that much. Uh, he's very, very important, but not really. I, I, I just don't really care that much about him specifically. But I loved seeing young Kinemon and Tsuru. That was great. Finally seeing Denjiro and seeing the way he's sort of just a... Uh, 
sort of, I don't know, kind of a con man back in the day. I, I, I really like Denjiro's character here, and I'm interested in learning a bit more of him. I think, though, that Zoro's master, way back in Shimotsuki, where he came from, uh, seems like he's maybe a bit too old to be Denjiro, but maybe not. Not sure. Because this would have been long, this is when they were first meeting, so this would have been longer than 20 years ago. Uh, so I'm not sure, actually. But, uh, yeah, he just, he looks so much like him at this point, is the thing that I'm stuck on. Uh, but, yeah, I loved Kinemon and Tsuru. I would love, I think that's, uh, Kinemon, or not Kinemon, I think that's Kanjiro, like I said, that was with, uh, Odin, which would be cool. Um, and I'm excited to, I, now that we're into this, I kind of want to see, like, Kawamatsu, Inuarashi, and Nekamamushi. There's kind of a lot more that I'd love to see here. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. I just figured, like I said, since I lost the reaction, I didn't want to go without doing a One Piece video, so I figured I could go back through this and discuss it a bit as we're going through it, uh, just so you have something, even if it's not my first time reading. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Uh, like if you did like the video, and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it and all that. Subscribe for more. Uh, One Piece, much, much, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. Uh, if you'd like a link to our Discord server to uh, talk to me or more of us on Discord, it's free and open for anyone. All you got to do is ask and I can give you a link. Um, and lastly, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon so that I can continue to make videos, it's patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Also, patrons get to give in suggestions and vote on a new series whenever I add new series to the channel. Right now, the one they voted in is Assassination Classroom. So whenever I add another new series or whenever I finish Assassination Classroom, we'll have everybody putting in suggestions and voting on them again. Ah, uh, so patrons get that as well. But yeah, either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.